The Diversity Visa Lottery Program, as Trump referred to it, was a Chuck Schumer beauty. ABC7 first reported that the suspect, 29-year-old Saifulo Sephov, came to the U.S. from Uzbekistan in 2010 through the Diversity Immigrant Visa Program. The Department of Homeland Security confirmed Wednesday that Sepov did enter the U.S. through the program, which allocates visas based on a lottery. The program is aimed at natives of countries with historically low rates of immigration to the U.S. Trump's attribution of the program to Chuck Schumer, the Senate minority leader, is a stretch. In 1990, Schumer, then a House member, introduced an immigration bill that included a proposal to admit diversity immigrants from low-admission regions to be determined by the Attorney General. That bill became part of another more ambitious immigration bill, which passed the House 231 to 192. The Senate version passed 89 to 8, and then President George H.W. Bush signed the Immigration Act of 1990 into law in November of that year. After Trump's comments, Senator Jeff Flake, R. Arizona, pointed out that Schumer was in the so-called Gang of Eight, the bipartisan group of senators who made a push for broad immigration reform in 2013. The bill they wrote, which passed the Senate but didn't make it past the House, would have eliminated the diversity program. Speaking to reporters at the White House, Trump said he wants Congress to end the lottery program. I am going to ask Congress to immediately initiate work to get rid of this program, he said. Diversity sounds nice. It's not nice. It's not good.